Okay, so let me show you. This is our first project that we are gonna do. Thanks a ton. And I had to use, so I didn't use um, Sandra's Elegant Faceted Gems, but I did use some of my own. Popped those on there too, because I did not get the sequins. So there's something for me, I hesitate a little bit sometimes with those sequins, because I love the adhesive on the back of them. And the sequins that went with this suite um, don't have the, um, uh, adhesive on the back of them. Plus, I'm pretty sure they're on back order right now, so it's kind of good that I didn't use them because you can't get them right away. Anyway, so let's go ahead. We're going to get started making our first project here. So let me kind of get things popped out here for us. I should just put that up there. Okay, so let me tell you about sizes of things. Do I have room? Okay, so we have, this is Pretty Peacock. I was drawing a blank on the name. Pretty Peacock card base, right? Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half, and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have, what else do we have? These are all just extra pieces that we're gonna use for our stamping and die cutting. Some Whisper White, uh, Pretty Peacock, and Pool Party cardstock there. But the other measurement pieces that you need are these guys right here. So we have, Whisper White, this goes on the inside, my standard four by five and a quarter. Goes right inside there with a little bit of stamping on it, okay? Then also the pool party, again, measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And if you're not like paying attention and you want the details, all of this info is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com after Facebook Live is done. This piece of designer series paper measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And this is another fun actually here. So I pulled these out in case I need to make more cards for you if you put your online order in, but that's the full sheet. And then there's the other kind of a coral look, right? So I cut that piece down right there. Okay. I think that's all you guys need to know about sizes and things. So let's do, we're going to do our punching and our die cutting. So let's grab the big shot. We will do that first. I mean, our die cutting machine. Not our big shot any longer. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so we need, ooh, where is that? Yep, right here. Okay, so we're using the stitched shape dies, the largest circle. I've already popped it in the back here. So we are, normally I stamp and then die cut, but sometimes, and this is going to be one of those cases, I want to make sure I have my stamp right where I want it. So we're going to die cut first, and then we're going to stamp. Okay. Let's actually that, scoot that baby out of the way. And, okay, let's see. So we've got this piece. We don't need that any longer. Oh, I know, this is what we need. We need our punch too. Okay, so we are going to punch our whale. And you get a bunch of other pieces, but it's almost easiest because every time I don't get all of them, then there's something I wish I had and I didn't get. So I need this piece and I need that piece. And I think everything else we don't need. Okay, and then for the blue, we need, oh yes, Sharon, good idea. Use bonus coupons to get the new die cutting machine. I love that, what a great idea. Okay, now I just need these pieces right here. So we're gonna pop those, and like I said, you kind of get some extra, but that'll be all right. And then we need his belly. Let's see, how are we gonna do that? <laughs> I need I need that piece right there for his belly. I think I've got it in view. So again, you get some extra things you don't really need, but we do need that belly. Okay, there we go. I love that idea, Sharon. Now I wanna like get a million. Oh, and we need, that's so funny. We need that little dot right there too, oh boy. What are the chances I'm gonna find that again later? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna be really careful. Okay, so here we go. We have our pretty peacock ink with our thanks a ton stamp. And I just want that right there up at the top, okay? Oh, actually, we're gonna keep this open because we need, I'm gonna use my little scrap paper here. Which one's not as bad? Here, we'll go this way. Not on this piece, but we're gonna stamp some little like water speckly marks on our whale here. So again, with my pretty peacock ink, I'm just kinda, it's almost like he came up from the water, right? So we've got those. Now, let's see, we can scoot both of those out of the way. We need this 
little rubber, the silicone mat here because we're gonna kind of put our whale together. So there's just a little bit of kind of detail when you're putting your whale together. Let me find, okay, so trying to get right down here. Oh, here's my other little piece. Ooh, and I need the white little eye to, or the blue eye. There it is. Okay, so let's do the belly first. So this piece is gonna go right on there, if I can get it set for you to see, right? So I'm gonna flip this over. We're gonna put a little bit of adhesive right on here, okay? Concentrating very hard, ladies. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna put the other little fin on. So that's gonna go, mm, yep, opposite way though. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on this and flip it over. And you can see how great this little mat is, right? The silicone mat, so that I don't get um, adhesive all over my work surface. I love that. Alrighty, we're gonna try this eye. I brought my paper piercing tool because I might need it. I'm gonna try to use my, <laughs> my finger. You just gotta roll a little bit there. I just heard it. Let's see if we can do this, right? Pick that up and we're gonna put his eye right about there. Hey, that went way better than when I did this card the first time. Very, very happy <laughs> with how that worked out. Okay, so now we can put some adhesive on the back of our little whale buddy here, okay? We're gonna add him. We need to leave room for his little, his water spouts, okay? So this one is gonna go there, so I wanna flip it over. I'm doing this as much for you as for me. <laughs> and then that one's gonna go like that, so I'm gonna flip it over the opposite way to put our adhesive on. Okay, so we've got that there, and we've got that there. All right, so this one, you guys can see, right? I'm so like busy, like super seriously concentrating. I wasn't paying any attention to whether I was even in view, but I think we're okay. So isn't this cute, the little water spouts? So you probably, you know, that wasn't that difficult, right? You're probably not gonna make a million of these, but they're so cute. I love the little whale, right? So now I think we're good with, oops, both of those things. We probably don't need those anymore. So now we're gonna put some, oh, this is the thing I forgot. I knew there was gonna be something. Now I'm like, is there anything else? I need to go grab dimensionals. Yep, I'm like, keep looking, but no, I don't see them anywhere. Be right back, one moment, ladies. I would run if it wasn't so hot. Okay. Here we go. Got my dimensionals. So we're gonna just put a couple of dimensionals on the back of that guy. And I think that's good. Now, actually let's do, there's one more bit of stamping on my white piece that is over here. We're gonna stamp on the inside some of that blue, blue seaweed, I guess, in pool party. Blue pool party. Actually, I feel like maybe I kind of go off the edge. So, you know, I can keep this piece of grid paper for forever if I don't ever <laughs> get any messy on it, right? So we're gonna do that and that, and then I wanted one more right there. And maybe that right there. There, I kind of like that. So you see how I just um, stamped and then stamped again so you get the little bit lighter image on there too. Okay, cute, 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 because they're not all the same color, right? All right, so now we can, let's go ahead and put this on the inside. Oh, I forgot. I think I did bring my stamp and seal over. I kind of got hidden behind my uh, water bottle. So let's use that instead, right? Okay, so we're gonna put this on the inside. So I still have a bunch of snail left, so I'm still using that too, kind of interchanging. When Lily helps me, she's, because um, there is definitely a learning curve on this one that I'm still working on myself. I think the biggest thing is to not press you have to, it's almost like you have to go slower, which slow, I don't do slow very well. Yeah, see how that, it's, then you have to advance it forward. I need to call Stampin' Up and get some more info on this. This may be why we're gonna go back to snail if that keeps happening. There, we'll figure it out. I know, I think the thing is go slow. So I have a little bit of adhesive on my hand, so I'm just gonna do that right there. Okay, then we are gonna add A little more adhesive on our designer series paper. So, so cute, huh? I love just letting the DSP kind of do the work for you, as in 
Just put the whole thing, whole darn thing, right on the front of your card, and it makes life super cute and fun and simple. <laughs> I, Betty, I love this entire suite too. It was funny because when I was trying to decide, um, you know, what my next class to go was going to be, and I happened to be flipping through the catalog and I was like, oh, and honestly, it was the paper. The paper is what did it for me at first. And then kind of putting everything together has been so much fun playing with it all. So I agree. I love this sweet too. Okay. So now, like I said, you, there are sequins, pretty sure they're on back order that are part of this suite. Um, oh, good. All right, Sharon, maybe you can post the links for us. <laughs> I could use some help. I think you were kind of telling me about maybe the go slow. Yeah, I have not had a chance to educate myself. I'm gonna be super honest with you guys about that. So you wanna be careful because a lot of times with these um, things, I just grab it and I have had a tendency when I'm just grabbing it like with my fingers um, that I don't get underneath it enough to get the glue dot on there. And then I get really annoyed because then I gotta dig the glue dot off and put it down and then find this thing and put it on there. It's just kind of frustrating. So be careful is what I'm saying. I would use something I love my, my uh, snips, really. One of the easiest things you can use, I think, to get them on there. So just added a little, uh, you know, just a few water drops to our card. Thanks a ton. Super cute, huh? I hope you guys like that one. Now, let me see. Actually, you know what? Because we haven't cleaned our stamps um, with each other.